All right. Now, we're going to move into um, a very new um, phase of your vocal training now. And this is going to move us into a much greater emphasis on flexibility and effortlessness in singing. Now, we've done a lot of work to build up the strength in our vocal cords, or um, you may have already started, you may have come in, uh, come in on the lesson track and been just a little bit more advanced, and I didn't feel you needed to work as much on building up strength in your vocal cords, so I may have moved you already to this point as well. So regardless of, of how you've gotten here, um, now that we've kind of we've gotten past the you know strength training and development of our instrument, now we're going to get into really learning how to sing and learn how to play our instrument. Um, so this is going to be a, a very big emphasis from this point on on just not you know no straining, no strenuous action um, anywhere in your vocal cords and really starting to free up your entire body, um, your face, everything from any tension whatsoever. Um, now there's still going to be a lot of diaphragmatic effort and I can't emphasize enough the importance of developing the strength here. Um, but we're also going to have to learn to relax our shoulders, learn to relax our neck and not let so much tension. Um, I know we spent a lot of time building up these muscles and it's really important to do so, but you also have to learn to, you know, add the tension on your diaphragm muscles where it needs to be and relax everything else and to not use too much tension on your diaphragm. Now that's something I'm rarely ever going to see anyone do in all seriousness. Now I've trained my diaphragm and I've done so many breathing exercises and I sing so much every day. I sing six to eight hours a day, six days a week at least. So I, I have a tendency to, um, I, I need to uh, pay attention to not pushing too hard for my diaphragm um, because I have a lot of strength built up. So, but that's something I usually don't see in my students and that's just being honest. Um, most of the time people haven't done quite as many breathing exercises as I would hope and their diaphragms aren't really necessarily as strong as they might need to be. So that's something you're probably not going to run into a lot, but it is possible. But what I want you to keep in mind is that from this point on, you need to really relax. If you're not specifically doing strength building exercises where I've told you that there's going to be a little bit of, of extra power going in and where you're going to need to, it, you're never going to hurt. You're never going to feel outright tension, but some things are a little bit more uncomfortable than others and they're not as focused on relaxed on relaxation they may focus a little bit more on just you know clenching these muscles and really controlling your breath but from this point on we're going to move into a, a really flexibility and effortless based routine so uh get ready for a lot of new content and um yeah i will see you guys at lessons take care